Hey guys, I just wanted to take this opportunity to send a special thanks to my Patreon supporters and my YouTube members. Thank you very much for your continued support. I really appreciate it. Hey guys, Joe Wanna coming in. I'll be doing a different kind of a battle here. As you can see, this is just an unfortified settlement. It's a 4v1 as it was set up, but, but, I was actually given some uh, insight on this battle. So there were some rules here, and the rules are as follows. The attackers were allowed each five pieces of artillery units, and um, plus three further units of any type from their faction. Friendly fire is absolutely allowed, and the goal of this battle was to see who could get the most kills. So this is going to be kind of interesting, because I was looking over the army comps here real quick, and I see that the Parthian Ballista here is already facing the Mesesely line over here. So it's kind of like a free-for-all. I think it's kind of like a free-for-all here in Rome too, which I don't really know if that's ever been done before. So it's going to be kind of interesting. Uh, I do have it obviously here on pause because it's a very short battle. It's about 10 minutes long. So, But we're going to take a look at the armies. Uh, we'll start off here with Mesesely being commanded by Candy Katsu, and he has five units of ballistas, five regular ballistas. Uh, his general is way over there. He has The general is a noble cavalry. He also has one desert chariot and one African elephant. Then moving over here, we do have a Parthia being commanded by Ghost Hunter, and he has his general as a royal cataphract plus another royal cataphract. He also has one camel cataphract, three giant ballistas, and two regular ballista. Moving down a little bit further, we do have a Seleucid force here being commanded by Decibel, and he has brought four giant ballista, general is a Hellenic cataphract, one regular ballista, one mercenary Syrian armored elephant, and one cavalry, uh, light cavalry, sorry. And then we have an Armenia who's actually placed his giant ballistas behind the Seleucid for, uh, behind the, the Seleucid lines, I should say. Um, Armenia being commanded by marketable skills, and he has brought three units of royal cataphracts, one of those being his general, three giant ballistas, and two scorpions. And then for the defender, we do have the one and only Gorm Mjolnir. He is playing as Arverni. I don't know what the rest of his army is, uh, but we can see three units of Levy Freeman, and he's got deployables everywhere. Everywhere stacked up stakes, caltrops, barricades, everything. So he's going to try and do whatever he can do, I guess, to keep the enemy out. But this is going to be brutal. I have a feeling this is pretty going to be really, really brutal. So I'm going to start here because I'm assuming that the ballistas here are going to immediately start firing over there. But all right, let's check this out and see how this uh, unfolds. See, the Mesesely General is already starting to move. The chariots are starting to move. Elephants moving a little bit farther forward. Oh, no, they're going to turn. I thought he was just going to immediately start firing at the ballista there. Interesting. Cataphracts are going to start making their way forward here for Parthia. We do have the light cavalry starting to make their way forward. Artillery strikes coming in. Oh, God. Wow. Big time shots in there. Oh, we have a lot of Levy Freeman. Is this all Levy Freeman in here? Oh, there's a general. What do we have? A Spear Noble General. Triple Gold Chevron Spear Noble General. That's insane. Oh, the firepower coming in here now. That is the Parthian force dropping firebombs in here. But there it goes. Here comes a shot. Coming all the way over here to the Misesli artillery. You can see there was another shot already landed over here. It doesn't look like he's done any damage just yet, though. But more shots starting to come in. Now, the Giant Ballistas eventually... I'm sorry. Yeah, the Giant Ballistas eventually are going to run out of range. But he is going to continue firing over there. Ooh! Killing some of the Ballista crew there. Very nice. Oh! Oh! Bounced right over that one. They did kill some more of that troop there. I want to kind of see... Yeah, he's not really making any contact. I really want to see what Armenia is doing. Is he firing? He is. How bad is the Seleucid line getting damaged? Let's see. He's firing down here at the Giant Ballista on this side. Has not made any contact just yet. But they are still firing. Elephants making their way forward. Here comes the Light Cavalry. He's going to try and come through here. But Oh, stakes. Stakes. Oh, my God. The amount of javelins. Brutal amount of javelins there so far. Oh, God. More bombardments coming in. Oh, my God. Yeah, this is all Levy Freeman. I'm now seeing it. It's a full Levy Freeman army with a spear noble general. Wow. Uh, Misesely over here still moving his troops around. Let's see, has he lost any of his artillery pieces? Doesn't look like he has. Still has all of the actual pieces left. 
crews have kind of, kind of been damaged, but the uh, Parthia is really hammering away over here. 63, 33, 80 with that Ballista there. Wow, doing a lot of damage. Lots and lots and lots of damage. Elephants have moved forward. Armenia up here still firing down. Look at this barrage coming down here. Jesus. Yeah, look at that. A full Ballista crew. All of the Ballista pieces being taken out. Just another giant Ballista piece there being taken out. More shots coming in onto the settlement here, though. Really doing a lot of damage to these Levy Freeman. Really doing a lot. Oh, God. Again. Just massive bombardments coming in here. This is crazy. This is crazy. Masasely actually has not... I don't think he's taken any shots yet. No. Looks like he is just trying to run away from the Parthian force. He's actually stopped two of his ballista crews here. We're going to try and get some shots back. Ooh. I think that bounced off that one ballista there, but he is returning fire. Let's see. Is he going to make contact? Oh, no. It fell short. Way short. Way, way, way short. Parthia is continuously firing back here, though. Ooh, that was close. He lit one of them on fire. He lit one of them on fire, killing more of the ballista crew, but more... And more volleys coming in here. Look at this destruction coming in there. Oh, big shot coming down from Armenia. So Lucid Artillery here losing some more of the crew. Looks like only lost one. More shots coming in here again. Walls getting ready to come down. Yeah, that damage is already up to 70. Now 96 damage to this front wall section. He might be able to get his elephants in there. We do have the one Seleucid uh, Ballista crew making their way forward. Wow. This is actually a really cool idea. I've never seen something like this before. Oh, God. Town center building has been completely destroyed. These Levy Freeman are just getting bombed. 114, 133. I think did I just see somebody with 76. Jesus. 94, 92, 80. Wow. A lot of damage being done. These ballistas have to almost be out of ammo. Are these guys done? Let's see. No, it looks like they have another shot loaded. They have not fired just yet, but we're going to see some more of those fireballs coming through the sky. Still back over here. Parthia is just chasing Miss Aisley away. Miss Aisley's really not doing much damage over here at all. Zero. Zero. Let's see what these ballistas. They've actually lined up over here. Let's see. Have they gotten any kills? That one did. Okay, so he's got 24 there. Five on that one. Another giant ballista here. Four Seleucid getting taken out. It's doing a lot of damage to the ballista crews. Wow. More volleys coming in here. Again, wall section has been knocked down. We do have the one lone ballista crew has made their way in here. Looks like they're going to try and come over here. Oh, they're taking down the stakes, uh, the caltrops. I mean, good job. Good usage there. Taking the caltrops down. Just more and more shots coming in, though. Wow. Our Verney is just getting absolutely pummeled, which I'm getting the feeling that this was his, the, the, the job of him in this fight was to just get destroyed. So it's probably why he just took a whole bunch of Levy Freeman because it doesn't really matter. Oh my god. Jesus. Spear Noble General down to 117 men. What did that say? Damaged by artillery. Yeah. No kidding. No kidding. Oh, Levy Freeman still taking more damage here. Just the amount of shots that are coming in here. Oh god. Again. So much artillery. Oh my god. So many men just went flying all over the place right there. Armenia is bringing his cavalry up closer. We do have the Syrian armored elephants making their way further closer here. Big shots. Oh my god, just ripping through these guys. So, so, so destructive. The Armenian ballista is up on the top of the hill here. He's probably not going to get a whole lot of kills. He did take the artillery out though. So that is definitely going to help his chances as far as maybe getting more kills than his uh, than his enemies. Oh, now he's actually Armenia? Oh, no, sorry. Parthia is actually firing over here towards the Syrian archers to get... The Syrian elephants, I should say, to try and get them to go out of control. Misesely starting to bring his cavalry and his chariots around. Chariots getting shot at, though. Not taking any damage just yet. Oh, here comes a shot. Here comes a shot. It's going to go over, I think. Yeah, it's not going to hit anything. Just over the top, though. That was close. Elephants now making their way forward here for Misesely. Again, another shot coming towards the Numidian general. Cavalry kind of just waiting, waiting, waiting. Don't know how many javelins these, uh, all of the, actually, Levy Freeman still have a decent amount of javelins left. Yeah. So it's a good idea for them to not just immediately charge these elephants or the cavalry inside because they would get murdered. 
they would take a ton of damage. Back over on this side, though, I'm taking a look. I wanted to keep an eye on the walls to see how bad the damage is. So far, we only have a couple of sections down. I think it's this section here, and there's another section right there. But more shots still coming in here. This has been pretty insane. Oh, what is this? We have a uh, Celtabrinian circle, I think that's what that's called. Cantabrinian, something like that. Cantabrinian, yeah, I'm not really sure how to say that. But they are, the uh, Horse Archer General is starting to just run around over there. Oh my god! That was a gigantic rip through right there. Holy crap. Parthia's artillery over here, 71. 93, this unit here with 157. His regular ballista crew, he's actually lost a couple. He's lost three of the ballistas there, one of the ballistas out of this unit. So good job so far. This basically is actually starting to do some damage. Still not a lot of kills though. No, no kills. Neither one of those crews have killed. Well, they do, but it's not registering their kills. It's not registering their kills, unfortunately. But back inside the settlement, artillery still just bombarding in here. Another volley. Oh my god. Absolute destruction. Oh boy, here comes another huge volley. Wow. Big volleys coming in. Oh, we got cavalry actually charging in here now. Royal Cataphracts for Armenia have now made their way inside the settlement. Gonna blast into these Levy Freeman. He's up to 123 kills. Artillery still coming in. He's definitely going to get friendly fire on these cataphracts. Cataphracts actually losing a lot. Wow. Zero kills already down to 61. They've lost 19 horses so far in that unit. This unit here losing a lot more. Losing more and more. But he's got 200 plus kills. Almost 250. 260. But the bombardment's still coming in. We're coming down to the final bid here though. 40 seconds left in the battle. Our, yeah, Arverni's going to start wavering and breaking away. I don't even see his general. Oh, no, there's his general. General over here. Elephants now starting to make their way in here for Seleucid. But this, uh, that kind of for 312 kills. This unit here, 129. Elephants now starting to get in here, though. 180 for the elephants. Side chariot. Oh, sorry. Desert chariots inside here. 39, 80 kill. Uh, 39, 80. 39 to 40 kills. Here comes the African elephants from Sicily. The general in here as well, taking a lot of damage, but more and more and more artillery strikes just coming in and blasting this area down, and that's going to be it. The Arverni force has now re has now routed away, broken away. Let's take a look as going by the rules. Let's see who got the most kills, and that is going to be a decibel right there. 1,025 kills. His artillery did great. 148, 162, 194, 183, 281 on his on his elephants there. Great job. Uh, Candy Katsu here. Yeah, 107 on one of his ballistas. And that's about it for him. Marketable skills. Six, 654 kills. His ballistas, giant ballistas up on the top of the hill there. I mean, he did damage to the Seleucid artillery, so that was definitely useful. His cavalry, though, 393, 260. And then we have Ghost Hunter here, 436 kills. His ballistas did pretty good, 129, 105, 157. His cataphracts, though, not a whole lot, though. And then we do have Gorm, 164 kills. Uh, some of his guys, yeah, it was a lot of javelin volleys. Looks like his top kill there was 41 with one of his Levy Freeman. But very interesting battle, very interesting concept of a battle. Uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy. Make sure to like the video, share it around, comment down below. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Also, check out Gorm Yunus' channel. He's one of the other backseat journals. Obviously, check out Ellington and Bearded Warman as well. Their channel, all three of their channel links are in the description below. But guys, that is going to be the end. Massive artillery strikes here. But that is going to be the end of the battle here for today. Have a good rest of your day. Stay safe. And as always, until the next one.